gal. We're glad you could join us. Today, Maya and I wanted to kind of give you guys our backstory. How we met, what our journey's been like up to this point, and then what's ahead. Um, and we think and we hope that you will find it interesting and want to continue to tune into our channel. Um, we have some really exciting things that are uh, coming up, some wonderful travel adventures that we hope to take you guys on with us, as well as some pretty major life events. But before we get to all that, let's go back to the beginning. So Maya and I uh, actually met, as you probably figured, online. This was pre-COVID. It was Christian Filipina dating site? Yeah, ChristianFilipina.com, right? I was in OFW in Saudi Arabia then. Family. She owns a store, uh, a small store back home that also supported her family. But, um, you know, as an American, coming from my perspective, I, I, that's hard for me to, a concept to grasp. Like, it would be very difficult for me to leave my family behind um, in order to go work abroad. But that's just the reality, oftentimes, for uh, people in the Philippines. And, you know, it's part of the culture. You do what you have to do, and, and it's a sacrifice. Um, and it's one that, um, something that I, I love and respect about my. So here we are. Uh, fell we, in love with you fell in love with me at first sight. Is that what you said? No, you, not me. <laughs> oh, it was the other way around. Okay, well, we'll go with that. So, um, yes, so uh, I, I certainly was smitten with Maya. There's no doubt about it. And in the beginning, Maya's phone didn't work, so she had no sound. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> So there was we figured out how to work video, but the video had no sound. So you know she she would write things on a piece of paper and hold it up for me, and I would read it like a cue card. It was pretty funny. In any event, we started to just talk um, and get to know each other. And what's interesting about long distance relationships, and and Maya, you can you can speak to this as well. Um, if you're going to get involved with somebody who's, whether they're a state away or whether they're, you know, in Maya's case, you know, halfway around the world, um, it's a different dynamic. It's a different approach. What you're actually doing is you're reverse engineering um, the, the process, if you will, of getting to know somebody. So you kind of have these bigger picture conversations early on in order to determine are we on the same page? Are you know whether it's this person or not? Are we like-minded in terms of what we want out of life and where we're headed? Because if you're not, um, you're not going to want to invest into a long-distance relationship, right? So, yeah. right? Would you agree with that, Maya? Yeah. Okay. So we would have those bigger picture conversations first about the future and what we wanted and. Um, we also had a shared faith, and that was a big part of this, as you'll see throughout our conversations. Like, that's been the anchor, the foundation that's allowed us to get from where we were to where we wanted to be. As we uh, communicated more and more and, and, and got a better understanding of um, that bigger picture, then we started to reverse engineer the conversations back to the kind of, you know, the small talk and the getting to know each other. and. I thought Maya, Maya is very funny. Uh, she's very sarcastic. Okay. You see? I'm just freaky. I'm not funny. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> okay. 